Get a life. <laughs> hey, Charles. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Had a good winter. Oh yeah. yeah. You you did aside from the court issue. Right? Uh, <laughs> terrible. I know. What fucking you? I don't know. A bunch of racist bastards. So what can you do? They're oppressing you. That's for sure. If you tell the truth. We'll we're see not, you later. We're not done yet. Oh no. no. Okay, never mind me, me, me. What happened today? People sick of you. They say, oh my god, it's winter and winter's over and you're back. Uh, well, the municipal election is coming up May 14th, so we're starting the Blue Ribbon campaign. What's that? And we want um, the candidates for mayor and councillor to include in their platform uh, the fact that they are going to protect our air and water from shale gas development. So, what are the people saying to you? Uh, well, people are very supportive. Come on, and, come on, that can't be all, all supportive. Well, I mean, the ones that are coming over to the table, they want to sign the form letters we have for our existing councillors, and they're taking the blue ribbons. So it, it shows to me that there is certainly um, a lot of interest out there. Yeah, these cowboys, anonymous, uh, I call them jerk face. Uh, they, they won't tell you face to face that they don't like you. They're, they're sneaky. They're, they're sneaky, Louisa. Huh? Right. I, um, we need public debates. I spoke to Brian McDonald today, our local Who? MLA. Brian McDonald. Who? And exactly. Who is he? And um, Have you heard from him? He declined to have a, a public meeting of course. on shale gas. He declined? He declined. Well, why did he say no? Uh, you want you want his reason? Yeah. Uh, he said it would be hijacked by um, anti shale gas um, people. Well, I guess I'll have to ask him with this little video camera if it's true. So I guess I guess um, I mean I've always been at public meetings here in Fireton, and they've always been civilized, even with contentious issues like yeah. uranium. And the notion that from our elected MLA that he can't invite his constituents together for a civilized discussion, I believe is misguided. City Council even denied me the right to speak in front of the Public and Safety Committee. Well, Charles, I mean, Public City Council is not a place to hear from your constituents. Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah. They don't want public debate. Why do they want, why are they encouraging people to disrupt meetings like the, the Darcy's, uh, the, the, oh, that's right, uh, that's you. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Disrupted the meeting, the causal chambers a couple of months ago. I mean, that's what they, that's what they're saying. I think they're right. encouraging people to, to do that. Right. It, well, is this China? Uh, well, it oh, is we got a twin China. city. We got a twin city in China. Yeah. Maybe they're getting their ideas from there. Yeah. People are not allowed, after giving presentations to the committees, yeah. they're not allowed to go forward and talk to city council. So you're using the committee system to block all public debate. But uh, I'm blocked from, 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 from the council, from the committee meeting. Right. Councillor Stephen Kelly was at a ward meeting that the citizens um, put together a month ago in Ward 10. Overwhelmingly, the residents that showed up, shale gas was a number one issue. And the mayor and the councillors refused to hold a public debate in council on this topic. And that's wrong. And they should be voted out, May 14th. May 14th. Uh, you support Brentwood side, right? Okay. Talk to